ni Istanbul binaka muchu dolobina warmest greetings across vast oceans um, welcome to the fertile ground day three of seven days of rest and sacred renewal it's beautiful here not only where i sit in my garden with the sun rising but also because i'm in good company so thank you so much for turning up today turning up for yourselves turning up for this space and turning up to experience a simple and sacred act that we will be guided through in a few moments my name is tessa teresa and we've had two amazing days of sharing from our circle of global women on what we call fertile grounds for co-creation and just yesterday i had a conversation with elil who will be your facilitator your sharer today and i couldn't help but feel oh my goodness has it only been two days really has has all of this happened in just two days is it possible for so much deepness to occur in not only two days but two 60 or so minute sessions and she said yes tessa things are happening at a very fast rate but i realized that not only is it has it sped up we have that ability to cognize to get it to have it really sink into our bodies into our blood into our waters and and to get it and this realization has just made me feel the creator that i am and the creator that we all are and as creators how is it that we do it? How is it that we cultivate the creations that manifest? And cultivating is the theme of the day. So you might take a moment to just think about this. And what I like to do is to just step outside and see how it's done, how it's done by the Grand Master Creator. How does Mother do it? How does the Earth do it? And just in that question and allowing the curiosity and through observation, you do see a masterpiece being created all around us. So I'm sitting in front of a banana circle and the banana circle is part of a permaculture concept. Permaculture meaning permanent culture. So it's when plants are cultivated in a manner that they need little or no attention i won't say no attention though because when the banana circle is thriving it is arriving very quickly so the way the banana circle works is it supports each other it we create a network a circle of trees that support each other not only above the ground so that when we get great winds one shields the other but also below the ground through the root system. And I love the banana circle because it's the way we need to be in community. We need to create these networks of support. So when a banana circle is made, we dig a great big hole in the ground and all of the soil comes up and it surrounds it kind of like a donut. And then you put the babies on the raised ground and in the hole, 
all of the refuse from your garden goes into the hole. So all of the waste, what's misconceived as waste, because nothing is good for nothing. And everything is good for something. And it's kind of the same way with humans, you know, all of the seeming challenges and the crazy things that we go through, the hurts and the traumas, they happen for a reason. They're there to help us grow. And this is part of the cultivation process. So I'm so thankful for all of the, excuse my French, the shitty situations because as dark and despairing as they may seem they're there for a reason they are a foundation that we can build upon and when we change our perception you can use it and that's where the medicine is so on that note I would like to introduce you to part of my heart, a medicine woman, a passionate woman, a woman of the land and of such grace. I met Ilile when she came to Fiji a few years ago and she spent time with me in my garden and she cultivated a spot that has grown so quickly, just like that rapidness that we spoke about yesterday. And interestingly enough, I see a few of us here from yesterday's session of Nourishing in the Medicine Garden, the beautiful Tulsi that um, gave so wholeheartedly to us yesterday is actually in the center of the garden that Elil created. And you see, that's how the network works. That's the magic of the circle again and again and again. Elil comes from Israel and there's something special between Fiji and Israel. And Shelley Ostrov said this to me not so long ago. There's something about Fiji and Israel. And you're right. And Ilile being in Fiji demonstrated that so beautifully. So while she's here, when she hops into a taxi, taxi drivers will not take money from her when they know that she's from Israel. And it's just this commonality that we share. This is home for you. You know that. And so it just, I'm feeling so heartened that we are sharing on fertile ground under the theme of cultivating and how cultivation happens. What is it that's behind the action? What is it that propels the seed? Thank you, my darling sister. <laughs> so much love for you, darling. You're on unmute. Hello. Everyone can hear me all right? Yay, awesome. Tessa, thank you so much for this beautiful introduction. Um, yeah, yes, seeds are a very, very exciting topic for me. And I am really honored to be here and bringing, creating a stage for seeds and being their speaker. So welcome everyone. As this I said, I'm Il Il Lankre. I came into this life on the land of Israel, but been roaming around the world for 11 years now. And 
a part of a big passion that I took, put in my basket through this roaming around, through these travels is the love of seed. And I'll speak a bit more about what so attracts me about seeds and why I love them so much. And, but before we start, I would like to take a moment and open this space with a little blessing um, for this space. And we have someone else joining us. Let me just wait for a moment. So whoever that is. So in the meanwhile, just find a comfortable position to be sitting for the next minute or so. And close your eyes. Get comfortable. Heather, hello Heather, we just started. And take a deep breath in, fill up your lungs. and out. Let go of any tension in your muscles, any tension in your body, any tension in your mind. Let it flow out with the exhale. Keep taking deep breath. Invite yourself, all those pieces of yourself that you scattered around through this morning, through this day, to return home. Feel your body and bring your attention to this space for the next 45 minutes or so. Allow yourself to be here fully. I would like to welcome our ancestors, our healed ancestors to come and join us in this space. And support us through this journey of connecting to this power in us to cultivate, to create. I would like to wish us a space where we feel safe, where we feel held. I would like to wish for whatever needs to come up to show itself. May we be open to grow and feel. May we have clarity through this journey. May we be grounded. And may we trust. Take another deep breath, filling up your lungs fully, nourishing your body with the oxygen it needs. And when you're ready, slowly flicker your eyes open and return to this space. Welcome. Welcome. Mm -hmm. And I have a dear sister with me here, Sol. She's hiding in the corner, but she's with us as well. Hello. 
So before we start the call, I will just go through some admin stuff to just let you know what to expect for the next 45 minutes and and yeah. So this is a call about cultivation um, about seeds because seeds are the the beginning of the cultivation part. The very beginning, the very egg of whatever life we'd like to grow from our cultivating cultivation. So of course we're gonna be touching on seeds. And a part of um a very ancient tradition that many humans used to have around the world and um, a ritual that they used to have around seeds is dance. So dance was used to be a part of the ritual of planting seeds. And the dancing is to provide the seed with the strength to grow, to provide the seeds with the strength to become its most amazing, its most strong, its most divine plant or life that needs to come out of it. So we are going to start the call with music and dance. Uh, I will give you a few, a minute or so to um, organize your space around you and to create some space for yourself to move if that's possible. So that's how our call is going to start. We're first going to listen to sound, to music that will bring us into meditation. And then on the second song, I will invite you to move. So I'm going to guide very little with my words and allow you to move and be in whatever way that your body speaks to or wants to. After the sounds and the dance, um, we're going to speak about seed and just to um, express appreciation to this magical thing called seed. And we're also going to speak about ritual and very simply what ritual is and how we can bring ritual to every simple thing of doing, of being in our daily life. And why is it important to weave ritual in our daily life? After that, we are going to plant a seed. So I hope and some of you prepared for this call and or prepared a little bunch of seeds with you and a little patch of dirt to plant these seeds in. If you did amazing, if you didn't get the memo, that's all good. Just be with us while we do so and do it with your intention. Yeah. So it's not, it's not going to be just planting seeds. It's going to be a really beautiful ritual of planting seeds and weaving our intention into these seeds. And so we shall begin. <laughs> we shall begin. Before we dance, I would like to include us all in this group, in this um, circle that we have created. And I would like to do a sharing circle and for each one to share their name and maybe where they are connecting to us from, where are they connecting from the planet, from earth and anything else that you would like to say about yourself. And I would also like to hear why you decided to join this call today. So we're going to keep it quite short. Try to your share to be around a minute to two to three, not more than that. And, and I can start. As I said, I'm Il Lankre. I am connecting to you today from Wanaka, the South Island of New Zealand. And I am here because 
I have this strong fire in me, this strong love to seed. And I walk this world wearing my glasses, my seed glasses. It means being able to see seeds in a different way. And it's something that brings me a lot of joy and I'm here to share it with you. That's me. And I'll pass the word to you, Sol. <laughs> and you're going to be with us in the spring from now on. Hello, I'm Sol. I'm joining this call from Wanaka as well, South Island of New Zealand. I'm originally from Argentina. And I had the pleasure to meet Elil in the past few days. And we're currently, we came together last night and, and I heard about this ritual and the seed planting and I saw her organizing and writing and putting all her love and attention to, to this ritual. So, so yeah, I, I really wanted to join and, and be part of, of this and, and learn more and be part of a ritual and yeah, take that with, with all the things that I do from now on. And pass the words to any, anyone that you choose from the screen. I will pass the word to Susan if you want. Hi, everybody. Hello from Switzerland. Ciao. Bonsoir. Hello. My name is Suzanne. I'm from Switzerland. Hey. <laughs> I, uh, it's a pleasure to see you. It's so nice to be here. <laughs> it's wonderful. Um, I'm, a, I'm in a small village called Meganwil between Zurich and Aarau. Uh, the next river shed is Royce, coming from the source of um, of the Alps in a, in the middle of in the center, kind of a center in Switzerland. And there is a source from a lake, um, which um, three rivers are coming from. One going north to the North Sea. One is going east to the Black Sea, and one is going south to the Middle Sea. And um, I heard a Mayan person saying uh, the Alps are kind of like similar or like a sister to Peru Alps, the Peru mountains there. And I uh, have a good feeling on that. That's a, uh, um, when I go to Mount, I love the mountains here. I really love the mountains. And um, uh, I've been in a nature school to become a nature connector. And at the last, one of the last days I received, I decided to show that, but uh, actually, I, I, I always hide it, <laughs> but I, I showed it in a women's circle in a, in a four, um, four Worlds International Women's Circle for, um, after some months I, I received it. So I'm very shy to show it, but now I'm taking a, a leap and show it. I received this elk antlers. Whoa. And um. I have good friends helping me to find out more what's the path, what's the path for me with those elk antlers. And that's all I want to share on the recording on that. It's very private. And um, I, uh, I'm a peacemaker. I have an organization uh, working for peace since four years now. And I, uh, I just love to be there. Planting is, planting seeds or planting a better tomorrow is really written in my soul and my heart, not only from this lifetime. It's just, we got to get this going without, without this negativity, without the war or the conflicts, racism and whatever, you name it. And that the women can really, really, evolve in their re original beings. 
And I love plants. I got uh, good teachers on plants, Swiss plants. And I love to share that. Whoever likes to, to, to connect with me on that. So that's, that's more than two minutes. Sorry. <laughs> I pass, I pass to Daniela. <laughs> Blessings, everyone. My name is Daniela Castell, and I come to you from the unceded territory of the Quatsino Nation in northern Vancouver Island, British Columbia, Canada. I'm a guest here, um, and um, this I'm here with this uh, ceremony because I'm precisely at the time where I'm uh, laying the foundation for my eco relations business and mission on on Mother Earth, and so cultivating it's an a learning edge for me because I'm really good at planting seeds, but that nourishing them and that growing season uh, is the area that um, I'm is a learning edge for me. So I look forward to uh, formerly planting the seeds of my new eco relations business uh, in this ceremony. And uh, I pass to Stephen. Hello, everybody. Um... I am from New York, however, dialing in from San Diego at the moment. Um, I found this event by way of a common friend who uh, we were discussing nourishing and kind of how to rejuvenate the, the planet. And uh, very glad to uh, connect with beautiful souls who are committed to uh, this work. And uh, just here, taking it all in uh, and learning. Okay, I will pass to Pamela. Hi, I'm, uh, I'm Pamela Schreiner and I'm in, in Ottawa in, in Canada in a cold, cold city in the world. <laughs> It's uh, we have a we have snow we have very very cold here, and um, I'm I'm uh, I'm here because I'm interested in this group and I recently met the women taking part in this group and I'm hoping to take part every day and uh, and I for me seeds for me the importance of seeds are the seeds of ideas I love. Uh, ideas and playing around with ideas and my primary interest is uh, the systems and structures that we have in this world and the impact that they're having us and you know what can we impact them and that's the area that I play around in. So I will pass on to Claudia. Hello everyone. Thank you. I'm uh, Claudia Valdez, and I reside in Ontario, Canada. I'm uh, located kind of right between Toronto, which is a major city, and Niagara Falls. Um, so we have very cold weather here as well. Um, but a few years back, we uh, became stewards of 42 acres. And uh, so we are also learning about cultivating and planting seeds. Um, I know a lot about planting energetic seeds and manifesting that way, um, but the plants and our vegetation is so, so vital and so important. So I've got uh, a lot of heritage seeds um, that I've uh, gotten gifted so that we can plant on the land. And I'm just here um, to absorb and to learn as much as possible and uh, just to share with you all so grateful for being here thank you and i will pass the uh, feather to uh, tessa First of all, we'll get her untangled. Oh my goodness gracious. Can you hear me? 
All right. So I'm here to to be part of the support network and to be in circle with all of you plantners and I I love that we're going to dance because plants and dance really go together not only do they rhyme <laughs> but they also do dance in the wind um, I'm here to learn I'm here to learn about cultivation about I'm here to learn about myself and about my my place in the garden in the garden of life I'm so grateful to be here and a couple of you ladies mentioned about cold I send you warmth from here and I gladly received some of that chill wind <laughs> so sunshine to you and to the seeds beautiful to be here thank you oh I think I already mentioned that I'm in Fiji I'm on the ancestral lands of Hambata and to honor the ancestors who are not um, often spoken about um, whenever I'm in the garden and I'm digging and I'm aerating the soil, I often come across these shards of pottery from, you know, left from the women that once also cultivated these lands. So I'm feeling very blessed. I'm blessed, feeling blessed by them and honored that I can speak, speak of them here as we honor the land that we are each on. Inaka, thank you. Thank you, everyone. It's really warming to get to know you all more and to know that we have, we have attention, we have this focus from all the corners of our planet um, and it's quite special what technology allows us to do so we are going to connect with the music to connect with the sound and move our body in the second so in the second song so we're going to listen to two songs two um, tracks and there's nothing special about these tracks these they are very special though, <laughs> um, but they are simply here to create space. And on the first track is very slow and I invite you to simply sit and be. Be with the sounds, be with the music and connect to the part inside you that generates cultivation. The part inside you that creates seeds, that creates soil and earth for these seeds to grow in. And that waters these seeds, these intentions with love. So this part inside you is going to receive energy, receive a stage through the, through the meditation that we're going to do. I'm not going to guide with my voice. It's you. It's all in you and you can go wherever you want. On the second song, I will invite you to bring movement in whatever way that feels comfortable for you. It could be just sitting down and moving your shoulders or moving your head or moving your hands. It could be standing up and dancing wildly, whatever your body wants to do. This is a safe space for you to be however you wish, no expectation from you. And I'm going to share a poem as well on the second song. So before Danelia is going to Start the music for us. I invite you to 
Again, find a comfortable position to sit in. Take a deep breath and bring yourself to the here and now. And we'll invite the music to join us. When you hear the music, if your sound isn't loud enough, if something isn't working with your technology, just take the first part of the song to fix whatever you need and come back to a comfortable position and just sit with the sound that you're receiving.
Forbidding all you say. His word speaks to me of patience. Of planting deep into dark soil. Grateful for the sun's warmth. Of watching, hoping for rain. Then watching miracles. As the smallest of seeds rise. From hard casing to soft growth. From death into life. Transformed from within. What might these corrated conversations reveal as we scratch beneath the hard surface, getting past that first hard layer to the rich places where roots can grow? What seeds might be planted if we come together with an attitude of vulnerability and gratitude. What might such seeds yield as a harvest? Let's plant and see. And I invite you to bring movement Allow your body in whatever way it wants.
things just slowly come back to stillness. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> so as we awaken and lighten the fire and the heat inside us, and connected to the power inside us to cultivate, to create whatever we want, whatever we want to, to bring into life. I would like to speak about seeds a little bit and share my love to seeds and the, 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 the magic I see in them. And I asked you all to uh, prepare some seeds for this call. So I would like you to hold these seeds as we speak about seeds. So bring them forward if you have prepared some seeds. For you. If you recognize this, Tessa. <laughs> Hold your seeds as we as we learn to see them. In many traditions, seeds are referred to as consciousness itself, life itself. Consciousness is its whole packed into a physical matter, a tiny, tiny packet. This packet, this seed, it knows it's alive. It's sleeping, but it's alive. It has all the information to become life in a tiny seed like this. There is all the information the plant needs to burst into life to break through the earth, to come up to the surface. It has all the energy it needs to feed itself until it can receive food and energy from the sun, from the sun and from the water. It has all the information and the ability to communicate with the soil around it with the life in the soil, with, with its community around it. It has all the knowledge it needs to become a seedling and then later to become a strong tree or strong flower or strong plant or whatever it is it becomes. It's protected in its shell to protect it from the harsh environment until it's ready, until it's ready to wake up. And when it does, that hard shell, that protective shell, soften, break, and allows life and softness 
to come through. From the dark, from the death, into the light. The seeds have been with us since the beginning of our time, way before us, but they have always been with us. We are seeds ourselves. We have seeds inside us. So every living thing, everything in this planet, has seeds to continue its life, to be able to continue being here. And we do so through seeds. But as Danielia said, it's not enough to just plant a seed. <laughs> Some seeds can do without us. Some seeds are strong enough to grow strong in the wild, harsh environment with whatever water the skies wants to bring on them and whatever sun or freezing cold comes upon, they're able. But some seeds require attention, require love, require nurturing and nourishing. And we know, we know how to do so. We know how to nurture our seeds. Patience, observation, nurturing, nourishment. When I speak that, I feel the feminine. I would like to open a sharing circle and for us to share one word or two or three, but only single words of what seeds, what the essence, the spirit of seeds brings up for us. And I can start again. As I said, just spoke, seeds, even though they are usually come from the masculine, from the, from the men, from the, they are very feminine. And for me, they, they bring that perfect balance, that perfect relationship and dance between the masculine and the feminine to allow life to be here. To allow life to happen. For me, seeds are also the ancestors. They have the knowledge of the past. They have all the knowledge of the past. Yet they are packed and ready to step into the future. So again, it's this relationship between the past, the now, and the future. I will pass the talking stick to my sister here. So what does Steve bring up for you? <clears throat> um, it's for me, our growth, growing. I can say it brings me also think about the future and how in this little package we have so much life and, and yeah so much growing and so much energy that can come to us in the, in the world and and yeah it makes me think about growing and how the land is here to hold them and to nourish them and how is it for us as well to be able to grow and have that that space and that connection between the seeds everything that we live in the world. Thank you. Do you want to pass the letter to me? 
I will pass the word to Claudia. Claudia, are you with us? Maybe we'll pass. Oh, yep. She's with us. Sorry, I have. I'm having tech issues. Can you please pass? Yes, no worries. Susan, the word, the talking stick is passed to you. <laughs> Dan. <laughs> Wonderful. Okay. This is a hawth, a hawthorn we have here. It grows in, in, in towns. Yeah. <laughs> Really, a uh, really lot, and it's um, from uh, from the Swiss um, herbs, one of the ancient ones we have, and it's good for the heart. Yeah, and I'm not sure if you can see it. It's red. It's good for the heart. Uh, the strongness for the heart, to strengthen the heart, and if you strengthen the heart, you have a strength body, vessels, organs, a good mind, clear mind, good decisions, clear decisions, good observations, and a clean soul, you can do that. So for me, this seed, I take as an example, this seed is um, yeah, I, I take it as an example. It, rep it represents now um, um, growth, health, clarity, strength, grounding, and um, vitality. Um, um, having big roots in the ground, a long life happy, healthy, long life, lots of friends, and I pass the feather to, to Tessa. Thank you, Suzanne. I want to share my seeds with you, if you can see them. They're tiny, and I've been sort of playing with them in my hand and you can see what they formed. And it was lovely because the word that came up was two words, pure potential. And, and if you see what's happened here is there's one little seed right in the middle of the circle. So a seed to me is pure potential, just like a, an unborn baby. And but space is needed for this pure potential to manifest. So my words are pure and potential, and they they go together quite beautifully. Thank you. And I pass the word to Michael. I'll jump in. Um, I have exactly the same words. <laughs> um, so there's a bit of ditto ditto and I, I love that word sleeping when you talked about that a little, the sleeping. And I think that maybe it's not quite pure potential. It's, it's latent potential or sleeping potential. And 
what I love about that is that even if we examined the seed and the DNA makeup in the seed, we still won't know what kind of tree that will be. Because in my experience, every tree, every body of water, every mountain has their own unique spirit, character and voice and shape. So there's mystery. It's that, that mystery that we don't know what it will look like, even if we have the recipe or the formula or the DNA sequencing. So that for me is uh, really the most exciting part now that I speak about it. The potential is how I would describe it, but the mystery that is about to unfold is the most mm, enticing for me. That's the part I actually feel I get most excited about in case you can't tell. <laughs> so I'm going to pass to you, Pamela. I, I have uh, tobacco seeds here, original tobacco. And for me, from a systems and structures perspective, uh, the story of the evolution, tobacco used to be one of the most important herbs in North America before it got um, corrupted. <laughs> and uh, so for me, it's a systems and structure story. So um, is it that tobacco has been mim mimicking our human evolution? Something like that. <laughs> oh, and I... I pass to Claudia. Are you available now or not? Okay. And Michael, are you available? So then I'll pass back to the feather back to Ilil. Thank you. Thank you for all these beautiful sharings and different. This is something I really like about sharing is um, seeing. OK, the mic doesn't work. <laughs> we got your sharing spirit. Thank you, Claudia. Is the ability to see different views and different uh, perspective on the same thing. And it's really beautiful to hear, hear your sharings and what seeds bring up to each one of you. Um, Claudia, you were speaking about heritage seeds. And I think this subject is very, very um, important to understand. And I would like to bring, give it a stage here, even though I wasn't planning on. Um, I don't know if any of you heard that term before, heritage seeds. Yeah. And it's a bit more on the technical part of seeds, less in the spiritual essence of what seeds are, but very much also. Um, so before we used to move around the earth so easily, we used to plant the same seeds in the same soil for hundreds and thousands of years. And these seeds learned how to communicate with the soil. It learned how to communicate with the weather and the skies, the sun, and all the characters of this specific place on earth. And they were never sprayed or manipulated in any way. They were original. They were original being on that specific earth, on that specific land. And that's what heritage, heritage seeds mean, essentially. It's being grown and being uh, communicating with a specific land for a certain amount of time. And I think the, the understanding of what heritage seeds are really gives us a bigger understanding of what seeds are. And yeah, 
And that's really what sparked my love to seeds as well, understanding what heritage seeds are and understanding that they have the ability to communicate with the land. And that's really beautiful, I think. And I would like to take us on another path, another rabbit hole <laughs> of ritual and a bit different than seeds, but as, as important and bring the word ritual forward. So what is ritual? Ritual is, our, is bringing the sacred forward. Ritual is connecting to the unseen around us and giving it a stage, expressing appreciation, expressing gratitude, welcoming it in, learning how to dance in peace with it. Learning how to be in relationship with the sacred, with the unseen. And ritual can become a part of every single thing in our life if we only wish to, if we only make it into ritual. Waking up in the morning can be a ritual. You know, it's our ability to see the sacred, to see the divine in everything. And to give stage to that divine. So as I said, we can wake up in the morning and have a ritual of gratitude for our spirit to come into our body again and to allow us to live another life, another day. Eating and sharing food can be a ritual of gratitude for what the land gave us, of welcoming this food into our body and weaving it with intention and planting seeds can be a ritual, a very, very sacred and special ritual. And this is why I am speaking about ritual. Because together we are going to um, have a ritual of planting seeds today, very soon, right now. And seeds in this specific ritual that we are doing today are going to get receive a symbolic metaphor of seeds of intention so we are going to weave our intention into the seeds that we are holding and then we're going to plant them with trust in the earth and water them with our love And those intentions can be, you know, putting intentions into seeds can be a very open thing to whatever intention you want. But I would like to bring some direction to this intention today. And I think that as a collective, we have an even bigger power if we, if we focus our intention into one direction together not as a single being but together as a unity together as a group together as a family as a tribe so i would like your intentions to be more focused on what it is you want to seed for our collective family on earth and what it is you want to seed and you want to grow and create and cultivate for our earth, for our mother. So I'll just give you a moment to think about that, become clear of what it is you would like what intention you would like to put in your seeds today. 
for our collective family on earth and for our mother earth. And I wanted to bring those seeds into your hands again. And cuff them and hug them in your warmth of your body. And speak these intentions either in your heart or with your voice in whatever way it feels right to you. And when clarity arrives, I would like you to move and sit or stand next to the piece of dirt that these seeds are going to sit and wake up in. So if you need to move around and bring that piece of dirt to you or you have it right next to you. Give you a moment to get there. Okay. and place our trust in it. We trusting that this earth will provide our seeds with whatever they need to wake up and grow into a strong, healthy being, living, vibrant being. And all this life, all the small, tiny bacteria, and all the networks of fungi flowing in it. Are all there to hold our seeds, to hold our intention, and to support it with life, with food, with energy. And in your own time, when you're ready, take a moment and place those seeds in the earth. Create a little curve for them to sit in, a seat. Place your seat in the earth. Remember your intention that you woven in these seeds.
cover these seeds with some earth so they are protected and warm. Safe, tough, and held by the earth. If you have some water around, just hold the water for a moment and feel the water is love, food of love, and feed your feet with some water. Wish your seeds, whatever you would like to wish to receive. And remember to keep nourishing. Keep watering, keep caring for those seeds. Oh, beautiful, Tessa. <laughs> because it's not enough to just plant it and water it once. We have to keep attending it, coming back to it, remembering it, feeding it. Until it's strong enough to stand on its own. And on a more biological, but really incredible um, piece of information, how does a seed burst? How does a seed come to life? So in a seed, there is proteins, there is food, enough food for the seed to grow and maintain itself until it comes out of the soil's surface. When we water our seeds, they expand. So they soak water and they expand. And that allows an elect electri electricity to start flowing through the seeds. And that electricity allows information to start running from one part of the seed to another. And when this information starts moving, the cycle, the movement has begun. life has begun one cell becomes two two become three sorry two become four four becomes eight and 16 and it grows and grows and grows and yeah i feel like i'm getting lost a little bit in words here <laughs> because it's so much to be yeah, it's so much to comprehend with our little words. Um, but these are our seeds of intention sitting in the earth and starting to soak water and the electricity starting to move in them and life is starting to be generated. So thank you today. Thank you for being with me today. Thank you for joining this journey. It's been an honor to be here with you. And may our seeds grow to be a strong, flourishing, vibrant, 
network of life. And I believe that I'm passing the word to you, Danelia. Uh, unless Tessa wants to close or you need to go. Well, please go ahead, Danelia, and thank mm. you so much, Elil. Thank you. <laughs> yes. Thank you so much, Elil. I feel I've received so many nuggets of um, new awareness. Um, so I feel seeds have actually been planted in me, <laughs> not just the ones that I want to um, want to cultivate and flower. But I think I feel new seeds have been planted by the words that you've shared. So thank you so, so, so much for taking us into such an intimate experience with these mysterious little <sighs> life pods. <laughs> So thank you everyone for joining us, Pamela, Suzanne, Claudia, Gabrielle, we had Stephen and Michael for a moment. So thank you everyone for coming in and being part of our seed field. This is day three of day seven of seven days of rest and sacred renewal. And we are fertile ground of co-creation, a group of global women each bringing their gifts forward. Um, so tomorrow is day four, and we have Claudia Valdez, who's here with us today, and she will be sharing with us her unique connection, gift, and wisdom about the Mayan calendar and how the universal timing frequency of the Mayans weaves with where we are right now in evolution on our planet so please join us same time 10 a.m pacific 1 p.m eastern 6 p.m utc in europe and of course the next day 6 a.m in fiji and a little bit later for australia so that is tomorrow tuesday day four the mayan calendar day five which is wednesday january the 5th we have gail thomas who's coming to us from the east coast of the usa and she invites us to bring our dreams and she will be guiding us in how to interpret them and the and its relation to the collective dream that's unfolding on our planet right now. So that's Wednesday. Thursday will be my day and my um, offering is um, with the theme for day six, which is valuing. And so I'll be sharing about how I have been valuing the wisdom that I receive from who I call the nature elders on our planet, the water, the mountain, and the tree beings. And then Friday, we have celebration. And that's when all six of us women come together on the seventh day. And we will be sharing keywords. We are going to be dancing an elemental transformation, weaving that water and fire, earth and air together, as well as participating in a live prayer performance, which honors the fact that this is just the beginning. Although we're closing the seven days, it's really the launching of each of us moving forward with support from our sisters and our nature relatives to bring the gifts forward we have for 2022. So thank you so much, everyone, for joining us. Um, we have a, a Facebook event. You can look us up at Fertile Ground of Co-Creation. Please join us and uh, also look at the seven days of rest um, org website to find out more wonderful events that are happening over these seven days. <laughs> Love and blessings and may your seeds burst into full celebratory life. <laughs> From Fiji to North America to Switzerland to both coasts of uh, Canada. And I'm not sure where Gabrielle is from, but White Rock, Canada. You. White Rock, thank you. All right. British beautiful. Columbia. Many blessings. See you tomorrow. Yes. Namaste. Mm -hmm.